and welcome to this edition of Dent Head Gaming. As always, I am your host, Dent. In this episode, we test long range versus short range in Mech Warrior 5. Enjoy the carnage. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Here we are. We're in a uh, we're in my mech bay here. I'm going to go down to the Shadow Hawk here. I am going to configure it for a long weapons profile. Um, basically, making it kind of gimpy at short range, but short range being anything less than I think uh, 300 meters. Anyway, um, so this idea actually spawned because me and my me and my best friend were playing this game. We got into which was better, LRMs or SRMs. Um, he says that uh, the Shadowhawk should be used as a brute close in, and I was all like, well, you know, it's this particular Shadowhawk's got three missile bays. It could also be used to spam long range. So um, I actually got his uh, schematics from him on how he wanted to build it, and I decided to pit it against, you know, how I would build it. So what I did was uh, I went ahead and built it my way, which, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and throw some LRMs on here. Uh, I put an AC2BF just to lighten it up a little bit. Uh, plenty of AC2 ammo, so I could just spray whenever they were close. And uh, what I was hoping for was minimal heat generation at close distance. Uh, that way, I could uh, that way I could just keep spraying. I could do just swarms of you know, AC2BF, and I could do medium lasers, and those would be my main combat at close range. So. Um, I went ahead and loaded it up. Uh, I'm sitting at a armor point right now of 320. Uh, cooling's only a 1-1. Speed's 81. Obviously, it's going to stay there. Max range is 720, which actually surprisingly isn't that much better. But as you saw right there, uh, it wasn't gone in a flash, but I believe it was. It only cost about um, $8,000 to modify the craft my way. So I'm going to go ahead. I found a nice, pretty easy mission here. I went ahead and got rid of all my backup. And basically, I'm going to have this one mech go against um, the entire mission. So it takes 15 days to clear. And I'm going to go ahead and start the mission here and see what uh, this LRM uh, craft is capable of. So let's go ahead and get that party started right now. All right. This is the long range setup solo. That is kind of cool how you can see the light rifle right there, like poking out of the cockpit. That is super cool. Enemy forces will inevitably overrun this area, but we have been tasked with holding them back for as long as. For as long as weapon groups, more important. So we'll put this on three. We're gonna put it like this. That way I can chain as much as I want together, or launch them all at once if I want to. Uh, then the ACBF, I'm gonna actually make two. Oop, that's not where I was supposed to be. Make that two, just because it's easier for me. And one on this one, and that should work. Boom. Possible. We have substantial combat bonus opportunities the longer you can hold them off. But All be right. sure not right to now we're rocking yourself. 200 rounds of AC2, which actually probably run out quick. LRMs are at 880, and then of course medium lasers are medium lasers. They're infinite until they're gone. I'm going to go here. I'm going to start it up. I don't think this is a defend mission. I think this is just straight up war zone. So let's see what we got here. So, let's see if I was right or Matt was right. Yeah, that's way off. I see the... that's too far out. So I'm going to range at 720 on this one, so... Okay. Wow, are you serious? I guess I gotta hit my targets to kill them. This tank is just something else. Why won't you die? Holy crap, like seriously. Oh, it's, I can't get it into reticle. Oh no, 
Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. All right, so for fighting a tank in a helicopter, I actually took a, quite a bit of damage, like way more than I was expecting. So, oops, wrong button. I'm gonna try to keep my distance from these boys, actually, because I know I'm LRM based or I'm long range based. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, it's an assassin. Okay. So I need to get the high ground here. Like, I need to try to work to my advantage. Because I forgot I was running LRMs. And that this is mainly long range. Like, my 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 preferred button of use right now is definitely going to be my R3. My, my 3 button. These guys are pretty fast, though. They can keep up with me. Not a whole lot of heat generation at the distance. Shot. So is this thing faster than an assassin is? Like, or is this is this real right now? I didn't realize. I mean, it's running at 81 kph right now. I don't think that's faster than an assassin. I know it's not faster than a spider. Like spiders run, they run fast. Okay, for a mech v mech confrontation, that was pretty easy. Like, so AC2s and LRM5s definitely dominated the show on that one. Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, this guy's cord over here. I do like how spazzy I can just spray the LRMs. Like, that is pretty sweet. It's almost like a mix between a stream and a cluster. Like, it's just three clusters that are streamed together. That's kind of nice. Like, that is actually wrecking house. And I'm at minimal heat generation. It seems to be a bit more effective against mechs than tanks. Because, like, those tanks, I guess they're just too maneuverable. So I guess I should take them at, like, close range. Because, yeah, these lasers seem to hurt him pretty bad. Okay, there's that guy I've been shooting at this whole time. Always hurt. I mean, he's in a spider, which doesn't really say much. He's running away from me for some reason, like maybe because I'm dominating him. I don't know. Okay, that was a big missile stream. That's got to be like a tank or something. There it is. Target 
There's not a whole lot of heat build up in this thing, like seriously, like for having one heat sink, I mean, that's pretty good. The only thing I'm worried about is it just, it rips through ammo. Like, I feel like I could maybe go, I almost feel like I could go minus the heat sink that I have and just go straight up more ammo for something. boy gets up on me it's actually gonna lay a hurting on me pretty good so got a nice clean shot there he's cored pretty much Stop. he's got internals exposed yeah he's, he's not doing so hot I don't think he's laid a single hit on me either with that PPC though from the other mech whatever it is Oh, he's got missiles too. He got missiles too. Okay. So Vindicator, yeah. This Vindicators are actually legit max. Like, I don't know why I'm not pulling the trigger on this boy. Cause he is undamaged. I'm on, I'm reversing at 53 kph, which is actually pretty fast. Target here. Target. There we go. Indicator. Ooh, that PPC though. Oh, ammo low warning for the LRMs. Which arm is that PPC coming off? I think it's actually in the right arm. I'm just gonna move in close. See if I can't just get the win. There we go. Alright. So, mission complete, 13 targets destroyed. Um, I'm gonna actually go until I have an armor break on this one. My damage is pretty high. You know what? I should just keep it at 13 for testing purposes. And just, uh, yeah, I guess this counts. So, so I'm at 102. So my next one is actually going to be, it's actually going to be uh, uh, the close range variant. That uh, so we'll see how the close range does. So first, I want to get my stats on this mission real quick. All right. So stats were damage taken 81, damage dealt 615. Uh, four mechs destroyed, four vehicles, five air units, 13 total. I mean, that's those aren't like the best stats I've ever seen, that's for sure. I don't understand how I got 13 total kills, but my numbers are... Oh, never mind, I'm being dumb. Yeah, that math's properly, I'm dumb. Uh, overall damage cost, 44,500. Not bad for a single mission, solo mission. Uh, but let's see what... The close range variant will do. Yeah, that sounds like a good time. All right. Here we go. Contracts. Same contract. Same pay. Confirm. Now we're gonna go battle max. Heads up, Commander. Weather conditions in the area will. We're gonna modify it his way. This is just gonna be fun because I honestly don't know which one's better. Like. 
when we were <laughs> because we kind of got into like a I want to say like a lover's quarrel like I was like well if you go long range you know you don't got to wait on your heat as much you don't need so it's just two different ideologies really when it comes to combat here so I'm curious to see the difference here so I'm going to strip the current build I'm going to oh strip mech there we go and I'm gonna say can't go max armor now so I would assume that he put a heat sink here there we go and then he said he was rocking an LRM4 or SRM4 I'm sorry because this is a short range one SRM and then two SRM2s I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and say he was running these ones just because they're a little upgraded oh there we go and then he said he was running two tons of SRM ammo, which I'm going to throw the SRM ammo in the legs. That's just kind of where I like to keep my ammo, which is, I know, a weird place to keep it. <laughs> All right. And then he was also running an AC-5. So... BF is what he said he was running, which this is the only AC5 BF I have, so I'm running this one. Uh, and then he's running the two medium lasers over here. And he did say medium laser, not like medium chem. So we're going to come over here. And we're going to come over here. Alright, so now we need, and he said he was running one ton AC5 BF. So I'm going to say here. AC5 ammo. I'll actually throw it this also down in the here. AC5 ammo. There we go. One ton AC5 ammo. He said he didn't have jump jets, which I agree with him on. Like mine didn't either. And then he said from here he went max armor. So it's it's actually rocking out at a 320. But oh, he said his cooling was a 1.3, which means he added in some heat sinks. So let me throw those on there. Totally forgot about that. So we're going to say heat sink. And that's at a 1.2, so heat sink here, I suppose. Why not? Uh, yeah, heat sink. All right, that should be a 1.3. Let's do strip armor, max armor. Yeah, his armor was a 256, so that lines everything up. This should be, I think. And then he said he modded it to where all the back armor was just at a 10, but everything else was forward. This is something I don't usually get into. I usually build my builds just max armor and then I start building like and then I start adding weight to it just to kind of get away with but I want to see here we're just going to go into each individual one of these and oop <laughs> not that way we're not and we're going to adjust this out to where front armor we're going to do so oh well this this doesn't count because this is the head so it's just going to be <laughs> it's just going to be it is what it is on the head so that's not what we need. We, anything that says front, we're just going to make it to where the rear is 10. And then the front is basically maxed out from there. Oop, oop, oop. There we go. We'll balance that. And then we will balance this. This is going to be 10. And then this is going to be... Come on, you can do it. There we go. Exactly that. And then arm. No, that doesn't have a rear, so we're good on that one. Front is 23. Yeah, that one. Okay. So, yeah, this should be the only two mods I have to do when it comes to that. It's exactly 55. Every stat is the same. So, this should be more or less the build that he had. So, okay. All right. So, there's that. We're going to do this. And we're going to run it alone and see what happens. Just, just you know, for for research purposes. It looks like that refit is actually taking a lot more time, and I can almost guarantee you it's because of the armor refit. Like, whenever you move armor around, it just seems to take forever. I don't know why. Anyway, let's go ahead and ready up. Same mission as before. Same enemies coming at me. The only difference here, the only variable, is um, the weapon setup. Because the pilot's the same. I piloted the last one. Uh, I am going to adapt my fight style, obviously, because I have closer range weaponry to be Attention. closer range. I'm not going to be running away from as many fights. I'm not going to be doing any of that. I'm going to I'm gonna get in close. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess him up. Because I, I believe my buddy's philosophy is, well, you know, it's a brawler. You, you brawl with it. And in my experience, 
I'm gonna I'm give him the benefit of the doubt and say he's, he, he's right because he's got a lot more experience at this game than I do. But I, this is, like I said, this is all just curiosity getting the better of me, I think. So I'm gonna move this to two. This is gonna be my AC5 BF, my SRMs. I'm gonna move these just like I did with that one and I'm gonna put that on chain. That way I can control them. I can do a full spray or I can do a single spray, a single shot if I need to or I'm about to miss. So we're gonna apply that. And so all the controls are exactly the same as last time. I do have a slight range increase with my ballistic weapon. But other than that, my it looks like my ranges are a little lower. Like my ballistic weapon's definitely gonna be something I'm gonna use as a clutch, uh, cl uh, crutch here. I almost said clutch, crutch. There we go. Let's see what we got. Obviously, still the 81 kph. So let's go ahead and get this mission started. We'll take out all. I think it was what was like 13 enemies. Yeah, 13 enemies. Let's see contact. what we got here. And if I remember correctly, it should be a tank and a helicopter. The tanks actually, be, or the tanks should be spawning in front of me. And yep, there it is. And then the helicopter comes in behind me. Right. Yep. Yep. There it is, coming in right over here. I'm actually trying to take this dude out immediately. He actually laid a hurting down on me before. Oh well, it helps if you hit the target. Oh, okay, got it. Got it. There we go. So, first enemy, yes, this is a better build for Recon sure. Reports additional forces entering the engagement area, Commander. Be on the lookout for them. Come on, I think the tank's actually behind this little guy right here. Um, where is it? Oh, yep. We're we're playing right around the rosy here. I'm actually going full reverse. There we go. That's pretty good. Okay, so the AC5 death burst fire definitely has a better reload rate than I thought it did. I thought it was a lot slower than that. It might be because I played a Marauder for a long time with a UAC 5 BF. So AC5 BF has a pretty decent reload rate. It was a lot better than I was thinking it was going to be. Alright. First person in the comments to tell me what VizCon means gets, uh, gets a brownie point. So, I, if I remember correctly, I actually took out the assassin first of these two. Look at those chains. Oh my gosh, from a distance. I was arcing those things. Yeah, I think I took out the assassin first because of the two mechs, this one's actually a lot more of a pain in the butt. So I am kind of running away. I need to get in close so this thing can do its damage. Okay, this mech, oh my gosh, yeah, okay. So this mech is a lot, lot more effective at close range than, than my build. But that makes sense, because mine was supposed to be a, a long distance one. Okay. So far, damage is looking relatively the same. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see what we got here. I could just... Heat generation is not nearly as bad as I was expecting. Yeah, this thing is eating things for lunch. I'm pretty sure my buddy was right on this one. Target destroyed. Target acquired. That range though, man. That's actually really, really good. I love that I could just SRM, 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 and just spray at people. That's actually pretty nice. You must have really kicked over the beehive here, Commander. 
More hostiles inbound. All right, four more targets left. This is actually performing better New target than, than my design. So, cool. I'm actually pulling the wrong trigger there. Incoming missile. My missiles are way off target. This is actually one of my favorite maneuvers to do is pull in behind somebody and just start lighting them up. Oh, his turning rate's a little bit better than mine. Yeah, that was rather impressive. Let's go ahead and deal with these boys. Okay. So, unlike last time, this commando actually scored a few hits, so hopefully that's that's probably going to be the deciding variable here, is how fast. There we go. Every kill from here out is bonus pay. Stick around as long as you like, but don't get too overconfident. Enemy forces still have a sizable hold of this area. Fall back to the mark now point when you're ready for evac. Okay, so... Just to give my buddy the benefit of the doubt, I'm actually going to... Whoop! I'm trying my best to get the cover so these guys can't damage me as much. I'm not entirely sure I took more or less damage on this, to be honest with you. Like, it looks relatively the same, but maybe that's because I was... I can't shoot this target, because it'll be doing more damage then. So this tank hopefully doesn't open fire. Dude, seriously. I'm just trying to make sure... It's a, it's a good experiment, and you're ruining it because you're going to try to get me to do damage on you. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you cut over and make me step on you. All right, there we go. Just trying to leave, bro. Just trying to leave. No, no hostilities needed. Don't you... Oh, shit, man, in the back of the head. He shot me in the back of the head. All right, let's see if I can get away from him. So I got kind of lucky last time. I probably should have hung out over here more, but since I had to push and I had to engage, I mean, that's just the downside of it being in a shorter range mech. I'm sorry, it's, that's just it. So hopefully he, my buddy gets lucky and I don't take any additional damage. But I really do think his design outperformed mine. Like that felt like it was a lot, lot more efficient at killing things. that and we're gonna do stats damage taken 73 damage dealt 706 I feel like that's a bigger number than mine and then obviously the the four four and five so I kept them consistent there for 13 kills uh, total damage cost was 3950 so yeah I believe that's a smaller number anyway I'm gonna leave it to the voiceover here to uh, really make the final proclamation as to who was better all right, let's go ahead and dig into it. Uh, first, I'm going to get the statistics for the long range. I'm going to be judging these on mission time, damage dealt, damage taken, damage cost, modification time, modification price, and finally, who the winner was. Uh, so up first, we've got the long range. Uh, completed the mission in 9 minutes, 30 seconds. Uh, damage dealt was 615. Damage taken was 81. Damage cost was 4,000, or I'm sorry, 44,500 units. Modification time was 15 days, and modification price was 8 thousand units uh, next up we've got the short range uh, it completed the mission in six minutes dealt out 706 damage total only took on 73 damage uh, the cost of fixing it was 39,500. Uh, modification time took a little bit longer at 40. Modification price a little bit more expensive at 10,850. But I uh, can definitely see the clear winner is the short range. So good job, Matt. If you enjoyed the car, just go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all out in the frontier.